I was thinking for somebody like Stallone, should we uh, should we break our own rules and allow one honorable mention for each of us? Okay, you asked for it, you get it. Honorable mention, Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> Go ahead, Greg. <laughs> so I really almost picked Cobra. Cobra. <laughs> I just love Cobra so yeah, much. That's great. And the bad guy in Cobra is one of the meanest looking bad guys you'll ever see he is and he is. and uh that i mean talk about a face only a mother could love like right. that that guy was built to be he's like uh he's like ironside you know he's just meant to be a bad guy in a right movie. right so yeah. he fulfilled his he fulfilled his destiny when he got cobra that's right yeah. and there's just something about cobra i love so anyways that's my honorable mention i i struggled man i was like i Aaron's going to murder me if I pick Cobra. <laughs> and that was directed no, by George a cool Adams. Movie. Same director. I know, but that, you, can't, you can't say that's his best movie, but it's definitely like one of my cult yeah. picks of his. Yeah. Like, I, sure. I won't, that's another one. I won't turn it off. If it's on, I'll leave it on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Same. What about yours, Steve? Honorable mention. Um, mine is one you might not think possibly, but I really liked Demolition Man. It was cool and quirky. Mm-hmm. Um, like the one guy who played, uh, forgot his name now, but he played Oto in uh, Beetlejuice, you know? Yeah. Uh, he was in there mm-hmm. um, just playing kind of, you know, the, the quirkiness that he likes to deliver to a character. And mm-hmm. of course, I love me some Wesley Snipes, man. So yeah. it just it brought a whole bunch of cool stuff. Uh, yeah. I, I saw that one within the last year. And liked it a lot more than I did back then. Like, I'll, I did watch it a few times back then, but I wasn't a big Wesley Snipes fan at that time. Yeah, Blade got me into Wesley Snipes, but um, watching it again recently, I was like, oh yeah, this movie is cool. For Man, sure. I, I've been a Wesley Snipes fan ever since uh, Rising Sun. Whew. Yeah, if I was gonna, well, I already said how much I love Rocky, so that won't that can't be my honorable mention. Um, no, but, I gotta pick a weird, like, qu- yeah. quirky one that might okay. be a personal favorite, but not I got like a good something one. everybody would choose. I got a good one, uh, Paradise Alley. It's like it was real early, I think it was his first movie he did after Rocky. So mm-hmm. when he was getting that momentum going, he picked a very strange movie to do. And I, I think the studio was like, why this? <laughs> it's about three brothers. Um, uh, he and um, Armand Asante are brothers, which is crazy because Armand Asante in Judge Dredd played like a, what was it, a clone version of him? Or maybe he was his brother in Judge Dredd. Right. I, um, Something like that. But, Armando Sante, and then this other guy, I can't remember his name, but he's a big dude. And so th- those two brothers are managing the big guy in, in a wrestling circuit, like uh in the in in like somewhere in New York in the 40s or something. Uh mm-hmm. in the late 40s, because Armando Sante had just uh been in the war. Um and uh and it's it's got like freaking Terry Funk is in it. He's he's a he's a wrestler. He doesn't look like a normal Terry Funk. He looks completely different, but he he's in it. So the wrestling in the movie is respectful to the actual, you know, art of professional wrestling yeah. or sport or of wrestling, whatever you want to call it. Um, so it's a really cool movie. And um yeah, it's 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 a great one. That that's my it was like such early stuff, and he's like so young in it. Um, and, and he, I, he wrote it, I believe, and he, did he direct it? He directed it. And he even sang the song oh, in the wow. opening theme. And so he was like, his brother was like, don't you want me to sing the song? And he's like, no, I'm going to sing this one this time. So, <laughs> and he's not a great singer, yeah. um, but it, he tried real hard. And I think even he knew, like, I think I read an interview with him where he's like, yeah, it was a huge mistake to sing that opening song. So, but yeah, it's a cool movie. Paradise Alley. 